Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily add 12 volt LED lights to any e-bike. Now I have my wife's bike here, which is a 36 volt e-bike, and there are a number of 36 volt lights out there, and 48 volt lights, and 24 volt lights, or you know any, any voltage you need for your battery voltage. But there are so many more options for 12 volt lights, so I'm going to be using 12 volt lights today. And I found some really nice uh, waterproof LED light strip lights. And I really like using these because they're super cheap and they just work really well for that nice light bar effect. So I'm going to be installing these on this 36 volt bike. Now because these are 12 volt lights, there are a couple of different ways I can do this. The first option is to use a DC-DC converter. Now I don't really want to use a DC-DC converter because it's just one more part that I have to add to the bike and one more thing that can fail. So the second option, and what I'm going to be doing here today, is I'm simply going to wire enough of these in series so that they add up to the voltage of the battery. Now in this case, the battery is a 36 volt battery, and since these are 12 volt lights, that means I need to add three of these in series to total the 36 volts for the battery. If I had a 48 volt battery or a 52 volt battery, I would do four in series. Now in this case, I actually have enough of these that I can have um, six lights here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these in pairs of two. So before I wire the three of these in series, I'm going to connect each set of two in parallel, and I'm going to wire all of those together in series. All right, now let's get to installing. I'll start by mounting my red lights on the rear of the bike on either side of the wheel on the part of the frame that's known as the seat stay. This way, they'll be easily visible from behind and on both sides. They have an adhesive on the back of the strips, but I like to use cable ties to hold them down because it's just more secure. Next, I'll add two lights to the front of the bike, and I'll mount them to the front of the fork so they're visible from either side when looking from the front of the bike. Next, I'll mount the switch on the handlebars. I'm just using a red on-off button, but there are extra switches on there that can allow me to add more accessories in the future if I want. Now I'll connect each pair of lights in parallel first. Once all three pairs are connected in parallel, I'll then connect the three pairs together in series. Finally, I'll wire the switch and the power leads from the battery in series as well. And now I have fully functional rear and front lights. Now granted, they don't look so bright during the day, but at night, they're actually pretty impressive. Now thanks for watching guys, I hope you found that uh, helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. And speaking of the comments, now it's time to announce the winner of the randomly selected commenter from my last video. And the winner of one of my books is... Michael Mulhern. So congratulations, Michael. Let me know which book you'd like, either the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, DIY Solar Power, or DIY Lithium Batteries. And also let me know where to send it. Uh, you can just send me a private message here on, uh, on YouTube, or you can find my contact uh, information on my channel page. And for anyone else that wants a chance to win one of my books, all you have to do is put a comment in this video, and I will randomly choose one of you to win in my next video. And speaking of winning a book, I have one more opportunity for some of you guys to win a free copy of one of my books. And to tell you about it, first I need to tell you about a website called evnerds.com, which is an awesome online uh, news website for electric vehicles, um, everything from uh, you know, personal electric vehicles like e-bikes, electric skateboards, uh, electric unicycles, one wheels, basically anything with wheels or rudder and runs on electricity. It also has um, some how-to information that I'm helping them flesh out. And there's a really cool part of the site that it's all about people submitting their own electric vehicles, um, you know, whatever type it is. And so this is the contest that I'm going to run. Anyone who wants to can log on to evnerds.com, go into the corner and click the Create button, and you can upload your own electric vehicle creation. I uploaded my e-bike as an example, and I just put in uh, you know, a couple pictures, and I showed uh, some information on uh, what went into building it, and uh, basically some specs and performance information. But you can upload a picture, you can put a post, anything you want. And then EV Nerds is going to create a video with all of your uh, electric vehicle creations on their YouTube channel, which you should definitely check out the EV Nerds uh, YouTube channel. It's got some awesome content, and subscribe if you're interested in it. And then uh, there's going to be public voting. So all of those creations you guys submit, all of your e-bikes, your skateboards, your anything, electric boats, whatever, um, will all go in a video there. And everyone can vote in the comments on which one they like the best. And then the top three are each going to win a copy of one of my books. 
So definitely go check out evnerds.com. If you're interested in entering for a chance to win one of my books, all you have to do is put a post there with whatever electric vehicle creation you have, and then uh, check back on their YouTube channel to see the video and definitely vote on your own, and you can vote on anybody else as you want. And hopefully three of you guys will be, well, definitely three of you guys will be the winners, but hopefully it will be you. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.